Welcome to the show that teaches you the things your parents and teachers are too afraid to. The Helios blog. Today, Kevin Samuels talks about the strategic singlehood of modern women. Let's get into it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. Took a minute and I just... I value man to do stuff for you like what? Uh, buy me a car, pay for my rent. Are you married? Um, no. Hopefully one of these days, I'm hoping. Disaster. <laughs> Why does a man have to do anything for you if you're not his wife? Indeed. Well, as father told me, if a man is not doing nothing for you, then is he I there? Know. I asked, I asked you. I asked you a question. Why is a man? That's called entitlement. Man have to do anything for a woman that's not his wife? I don't. I'm not asking what your dad told you. I'm yeah. asking because see, what I'm hearing is a woman who thinks men owe her something because she's a female. Indeed. Because what you said is a man did something for you and then took it away and pulled the rug out from you. Were you his wife? Was, I the, was the man the man who hurt you. The man I who hurt engaged. the man who hurt the man who hurt you. <laughs> I was engaged with that relationship. I, I, I said, were you his wife? No, I was not. Then you don't deserve anything. He can take whatever he wants because it's legally his. So this is what well, I mean. Listen, I, this is you want to be married one day, then listen. Because your dad's giving you some fucked up advice. Indeed. Mm -hmm. You aren't special. You're female. Just like I'm not special, I'm a guy. But so many of you women today walk around thinking that men owe you something because you were born a woman. Men don't no, owe. No, I don't think that. I'm women, to men don't owe women. Actually, you might say that, but your actions say otherwise. I mean, anything that aren't our wives. But so yeah, I, I, I don't. So when I God. ask you, when I ask you, I got a man now, and now he does stuff for me. And I ask, are you married? No. Are you? Are you why why should no, a man do anything do for you? Stuff for each other, if you allow me to Ma go ahead what do and you say buy equal relationship? Yep, that's that's what relationship should be. Him that what do you buy him that matches up to a car and rent? Nothing. Car I end up paying him his stuff back. Like no 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 no, no. paying phone. back. What? what do you buy? No no paying him back does not mean you I buy bought him. him. A, I have bought him a Lakers jersey. Wow. A Lakers jersey Very and you got impressive. a car. Yeah, yeah. Idiot. This is the madness. This is it. She bought him a jersey. See, women like her are entitled. Yep. And they feel because they have sex with you that your bank account should be theirs and they get used because they're not coming into relationships with good faith. Look at this, what you said. A man took his stuff away. You weren't his wife. He got tired of using his vagina and he took away his stuff. So what? If you wanted, you wanted, if you wanted, to, you wanted to be there, you should have married him. You shouldn't have been talking shit. You couldn't make this stuff up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need a cookbook. I'm a PhD. <laughs> me, me. I rebuke. <laughs> Execute order 66. He rolled for that, baby. Yeah, if you're wondering, she's the definition of everything that Kevin talks about. Like, entitled idiot, basically. <laughs> Baby, it is. You, 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 might, you might want to stop talking just to yourself and wait for me to bring you back in. You can't over talk me, so that's why I had to mute you. 
I'll have the conversation with you, ma'am, but we're, we're, here's why we're at odds, okay? I'm gonna tell you why we're at odds. You came in saying the reason why women may do stuff in regards to men is because a man in their past hurt them. That's, yeah, that's well, what you, that's just, yeah. You, you, it, yeah, the only reason that women act badly is because men hurt them. Nothing about them, nothing about personal accountability, nothing about personal responsibility, nothing about, you know, changing their own behaviors. No, no, it's all men's fault, yes. Let's see how that It'd be okay. the same difference as okay, some, you're, see, 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 why, see, 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 when you hear, when you hear this bass coming out of my mouth, that means oh. shut the French toast up. Oh, that doesn't okay. mean try to pull your dick out and over talk me. No, no, where you women think it's okay to over talk a fucking man? You wouldn't do this in real life. Now, say what you need to say, but stop over talking me. That's going to always set this off. Can we at least agree on that? Yes. Thank you. So, Men who hurt you in the past, and that's why you may respond a certain way. You were saying. It's okay. Can I talk now? Wow. You were saying. Also disrespectful. Okay. So with that being said, I learned from those situations, and I talked to my grandmother. I talked to a lot of people who are married in me to try and figure Yeah, and, and now she's being disrespectful again. Poorly raised figure out what's the deal because you know I, my grandmother taught me you know you have to bring more to the table than just your pussy that's what she told me so me being who i am now i'm actually a nanny um and i'm on clean who i am now that's like the you know i've had my fun now i'm ready to settle down i used to be a lady of the night but now after having 500 bodies now i know my worth business you know I do the motherly thing cooking and cleaning and making sure everything there for the man and I try to be that feminine woman you know you try but if that woman is trying to be that feminine woman and maybe that guy is just not ready to be in a relationship you know and he just may linger or just have her around 20 seconds go ahead 20 seconds but yeah, just have a round so you can go. You're more than welcome to go now. The issue is date with intention. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you date men based upon what you what feels good. You're in a bunch of short term transactionary relationships yep. and you're not getting and you want wife level payouts on girlfriend date level inputs. Mm hmm. That's the problem. Okay. Stop dating, that. close your legs, and only deal with men who are husbands if you are a wife. Then if you want to be able to make demands of a man, then you need to have his last name. But until then, stay out of the dating market because apparently your expectations don't meet up with the short-term transactionary nature of the modern dating. Of the modern dating. Mm hmm so what does that mean? You can't date. That means you got to go over and make yourself a wife and then put yourself in the vicinity of husbands and wait till you get picked. Are you prepared to do that? So the stuff of what my grandma, grandmother taught me, who's been married for almost years, is not what a married woman is supposed to do? Is that what you're telling That's very disrespectful. Again, where did you learn this crap from? Do you honestly think that it's okay to speak to a man that way? Talking down to a man like this. Do you honestly think that's okay? Freaking disrespect. Do you respect to your grandmother? Mm -hmm. Your grandmother was married to your grandfather. She has yes. nothing to do with dating today. I'm saying that all the men you're referring to seem to have fallen short in what you consider to be what they returned or invested. And the thing is, you won't get shit while you're a girlfriend or a woman. Just like a woman can go. Women today stop talking to men like that. Ghosting. Mm -hmm. Now men are starting to do the same thing. What your issue is, is you're not in a long, you're not in a legal committed relationship where you deserve anything. 
What do and that's why I said, what do you deserve in a dating relationship? Nothing. And due respect to your grandmama, what age did she get married? She got married when she was um, eighteen. Indeed. She can't tell you a mother flipping thing about dating. Nothing. Zero. Nothing your grandmother can tell you about dating. She doesn't know. Her vagina, her life, her time has been spent with one man. Mm -hmm. True or false? You are. Then what does your grandmama have to do with dating? Well, you know, they you always say they end up going the back to The answer is nothing. See, that's the problem. You should have just said nothing. But shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. The modern woman is on display, people. Indeed. It doesn't matter. They can be but soft-spoken. So how am I, I Ma'am, because you people. have not even acknowledged. Okay, you just should have said my grandma can't help me. That's, that's the answer. Just, I, I, I have to just, I feel like that she can in a certain degree. She helped well, she taught me how to taught me how I, to I said regarding child. dating. Yeah, but isn't that everything of what yeah. a man ends up wanting? He wants a woman who care for take care of the kids, be there for the kids. Sure, but that disrespectful talking down, not able to take criticism or listen attitude is never going to get you anywhere you're never going to have a long-term relationship love the kids make sure you stay out you don't have mom. any ma'am you don't first of all you're showing right now that you don't your grandmother's done a poor job because you're not being agreeable you're a disagreeable woman how but i am agreeing no, no you're, you're not. not i will let the, i will let you go back and watch the rebroadcast and listen to the women in the in the comment section I have given mm -hmm. you, you were checkmated on that point, but you decided to make additional rules. And that's okay. the problem. Black women need to learn when they're beaten and shut the French toast up. But y'all always feel like there's another move. There's another, there's another technique. Shut up sometimes. Indeed. When it's one, it's one. Oh, you're right. My, 80, my grandmother got married at 18. She can tell me a lot of stuff about being in a relationship, but she can't really help me regarding dating because she did not date. That's the common sense, factual, freaking answer. And what did you say? Well, I think she can. Well, look at it, what it's done for you. Indeed. You're in your 30s and still unmarried. And everything you're talking about is what comes after a marriage, doing something for the kids. Do you have children? No, I have zero kids. Well, then why are you worried? Why should a man be vetting what you do for children that, that, not, that don't exist? And but you're not married. Right? Why, okay. That doesn't matter. Well, maybe you can help me understand a little bit better because I'm willing to learn. I'm not okay, here it's called, to it's learn. Called, it's called, she's actually extremely... Does she not realize that she's like low-level disrespectful on everything she says? Does she, does she not realize that? That... that I'm afraid if she doesn't realize that it's even worse than if she does. Book a session. It's called book a session. That's not what this is. I mean, seriously, I, I, this is not what this show is for. I'm giving you plenty of time. And if I'm going to do this, I'm going to get paid for it. Please believe that. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Your first name? How old are you? What do you got for me on the topic? What are we talking about? We're talking about how black women are being marketed strategic singlehood. Go ahead. I think um, what I realized also is that we women, no matter what the race, have a hard time because we are to the generations before us, our aunts, our mothers, our mothers, we have a hard time um, unattaching ourselves to their ability um, and thinking that, oh, I don't love you the same or um, an equal amount just because I don't think the same. So I think um, that is a starting root in being able to think differently um, on the relationship um, scale. 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm I would also you, say. I, hold on, hold on, just a second. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't understand what you just said. Sounds like word salad. I, I literally, I don't understand anything. So do me a favor. Talk to me like I'm a four year old or a cocker spaniel. Use real simple words. Talk to me like I'm okay. four. Okay. Talk to me like um, I'm four. Okay, for layman terms, yeah. me, my mother, and father met each other 11, have five kids together, got divorced. I, growing up, knew I could not go to my mother for a relationship because she did not date and her relationship failed. So I knew early, and we used to joke at that. I mean, I can't come to you for a relationship advice because you don't, you're not experienced. But the love that I have for my mother did not decrease. Like there are women that are will not to their mother, will not admit like the woman that was just speaking, you know, will still go to my grandmother, even though she does not have proper dating experience. <clears throat> Do you and realize that you're like using so many words? I, I mean, I'm not trying I to be do. funny. I, I know. But, I, I, but, but, I do that. But you ladies, you, you just, you talk. I know. So she has no experience in talking to men. It's obvious. Because she just prattles on. Oh, Women do that. Much. I don't, I'm, I don't understand what you're saying. I really don't. <laughs> That's, so That's why I'm like, I try to just make it simple. But what I do know is how old are you? I'm 27. And you're not in a relationship, right? I am. But you're not married? Um, we're not married. No, no. That's a, you're, you're not, okay. It's not a trick question. Either you're legally married. No, I'm not married. No, I'm okay. not. So how long have you guys been together? Um, four years. And how old is he? 34. What's the holdup? Um, we're not big on <laughs> sister back. Marrying? He's not big on it, which means he doesn't want to marry you. You don't qualify. Uh, we plan on, you know, our ceremony, but we're not rushing to like do things, you know, that route. <laughs> so, what route are you going to do them to get you the outcomes and, and protection? No, no, and no. No, we, no, no. Like, no, no, no. We I'll plan let you, on I'll it, let you, but we won't rush. You, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you speak. Don't overtalk me. That is one thing that I don't get you, ladies. I have a big voice. You're not big on traditional. Okay, what are you planning on doing that's going to get you the outcomes of traditional relationship or marriage? Indeed. The benefits. Um, so everything between us is unified. Um, we don't do anything independently. Um, okay. I would say that. Why are you? Why? Why are you? Okay. So, were you born in the United States? Yes. Was your boyfriend and significant other? Was he? Um, he is of Jamaican. He is native so to why, Jamaica. Okay, but, but you live in this in country. Mm -hmm. Why are you not? Why are you not all right with the tried and true? Well, that's interesting. Here. We do plan on moving out of this country. All right, actually. but you're here. And you know, this is also in that. All right, get life. off my phone. Get off my phone. I don't want to hear this bullshit. Go live on planet Z Z uh, Quick Quack with Zunev. Get off my phone with this stupid shit. I have zero patience for this new wave bullshit. Hello, how are y'all doing? I'm back. Marissa, Marisol, and the other lady, how are y'all? Doing good. How are you? Oh my gosh. Doing well. You know, um, if I if I may, one. Mm hmm. You guys are a little behind, but go ahead. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm sorry, guys. My patience for um, that bullshit. I'm just not, I, I get tired. I, let me say something. I'm going to come back to you, ladies. I get tired of seeing middle class people, middle class black folks, acting like they got so much to lose. I'm not going to submit to this white man's patriarchal system of marriage. We're going to roll up a twig and jump backwards over it and mushrooms and everything else. And we're going to get, you know, this motherfuckers are average people making, making average money. 
with all these new wave ideas. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And all I hear, and maybe I'm wrong, I don't hear white, Hispanic, Middle Eastern, Asian, other people trying to come up with alternative methods. To, they do the shit that works. Indeed. But they were sold a bit of goods, right? Snake oil. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Marisol, how are you? You was Then we wonder why Kevin had a heart condition. You can hear it in his voice. Saying? I'm um, doing stress. good. Um, no, one thing that I, you know, one thing that uh, bothers me about women of all races that call your show and they like want to marry men that are look that's your thing but it bothers me that women want to marry men that have money for money okay. you know if you marry a man that has money but you 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 you're doing it for a this, this bull crap what she's saying here that's like every every girl wants to marry the prince so don't give me that crap okay. Virtue signaling. What happened to garbage. you? He's just talking, but you can't. Did you mute that. yourself? Marisol. What happened to Marisol? She was about to cook. I can't hear you. She was saying that I don't, one thing that she doesn't like is women who come to marry men for their money. Uh, I get it. Testing, testing, testing. Okay. All right, I get it. So here's the here's the punchline now. Uh go. There we go. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? Can. Go ahead. So oh, you were the one you yeah, were the but, um, you were the woman who's a Hispanic woman and the black woman of your your black in laws told you not to uh the black what what was this? Let me go ahead and kick you from my stream. Don't come in here typing all that shit. What are you doing? I don't, I don't come in here talking all that. <laughs> I don't know. People just come in here typing. Um, uh, Sandra, did you have anything else you wanted to put in or are we done? Um, No, that was all. Thank you for having me on. I think it was a good conversation. I think there's going to be a lot of build on the things that we talked about. But... Um, do you have friends around you your age that want to get married? To be honest, my social circle is very small. Uh -huh. um, I, I, I keep to myself a lot, uh -huh. to be honest. Okay, that's cool. All right, appreciate it. <laughs> have a good one. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. You too. All right. Mar Marisol, how are you? Go ahead. Uh, no, that um, it's women that uh, want to marry men for money. I think that's gross, in my opinion. Uh -huh. um, now, if you happen to, you know, of course, you know, have like I said, I have an eighteen-year-old. I would preferably would like her to have a man that can pr not just m provide stability. Provide mm -hmm. um, there's some men provide so many other things. Provision is not just about money. I just want right. to be clear. True. And um, and uh, but yeah, um, and you know, I I actually uh, my. my my mm -hmm. husband and mm -hmm. actually just posted something on the discussion board in the in the um in the uh, patreon mm -hmm. and it speaks about how um are we generation z um and gener and millennials and you know older millennials are we raising our our our, our kids to be husbands and wives no, no. and Obviously in not. general we're not <laughs> no they're well, being we raised are. to be individual. Well, in general, in general, they're being raised to be uh, strong, independent individuals. Yeah. No, and because I see that, because I see that, it it does concern me for for my my kids because uh, we are we are. I'm mm -hmm. raising my daughter is a wife, um, mm -hmm. and um, and even though she's 18, she's never you know uh, she lives with us. She goes to to college, um, and um, our our sons. My husband How does is, is that you know make her a wife. Sounds like an individual anyway. Mondalon, 
Yeah. They know pretty much how to fix a lot of things around well, the house. The thing, you know? the thing is, you may raise a good son, but the question is, are women raising wives or their daughters? Like, like your 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 in laws, your in laws, the unmarried women who were telling you to sit down and let your husband serve you. What kind of if they raise daughters? What kind of daughters would they be raising for your son? That's the problem. Say, and that's the issue. Your, what are you, what are you going to tell your son regarding the dating market? I get that you have raised your son and what you wanted to be, but he has to deal with the straw that's in the market today in which to build bricks. And that's the question. Yeah, I, if I may, um, and I don't know if that's where you want to take the, but I am more concerned about my daughter because she's currently 18. Indeed. Okay. And um, our sons are a little younger. They're older teenagers. Um, mm. And I feel like men have more options. No, they don't. Um, I, I feel, uh, you know. You want I your daughter to, what kind of lifestyle do you want your daughter to have? Um, I, you know, I, I, she is, has been raised to understand that, um, that our purpose is a man. My purpose is my husband. And so a more traditional <laughs> lifestyle. Oh yeah, we're conservative people here. <laughs> okay, well, do you have an issue with age gap dating? Yes, of course, it's disgusting. Uh, anyway, let's end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all for notifications, drop me a donation. Um, also, buy my books like Hunter M, Adrian R. Tom M, Bobby, Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, Andrew, Anne, Armani, and Nicholas. Shoutouts to you, most recent purchaser of both Strategist Guide, Seduction, and Quotes to Live By. Thank you. My books can be found at bit.ly slash Helios Books. If you'd like coaching, like uh, Nicholas here, just message me at the Helios blog at gmail.com. I'll slot you right in. That's my email. And I do offer early access to my videos at my patreon thank you so much for listening guys oh patreon is patreon.com slash the headiest book thank you so much for listening guys but you listen to the end i really do appreciate it take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time